Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 18 and in this video we're going to talk about the jQuery event object. Wow. Alright then gang, so we've been looking at events and we've been writing things like this in the code. First of all, we've grabbed an element from the document above. We've stored that element in a variable like this. Then we've said on, click or whichever other event we want to bind to this element. Then we pass through a callback function which fires and does something when this event occurs, right? Now then, jQuery passes through an event object to your callback function right here if you want it to. And we can use that event object to gather information about that particular event, such as, for example, the position on the screen where that event happened, or maybe the type of event that occurred, all right? Plus a few other things which we'll take a look at in this tutorial. And the good thing is, is that this event object that jQuery passes to us is completely cross-browser consistent across all browsers. Unlike vanilla JavaScript, which sometimes has some inconsistencies, especially when dealing with older browsers. So let's take a look at this event object and some of the things that it can tell us. Now, if we were going to pass through the event object to this function, the first thing we need to do is specify that here. We need to pass through the event object and we can name it whatever we want. OK, we can name it event. We can name it EVT. We can even name it sausage. All right. Whatever you want to call it. I call it E because it's simple and it stands for event. Then once we've passed that event object through to the function, we can call upon it here and find out things about that event. So let's do a little example. I'm going to go out and grab every element on the page. And to do that, we know we've got the universal selector from CSS, which is that little star. So that's going to grab every element on the page. If you don't know about the universal selector, feel free to check out my CSS for beginners course or the video in that course on the universal selector. I'll leave that video in the description down below. So go check that out. So we're going to grab every element with that universal selector and we're going to bind a click event to every element. So we'll say on then click and then we'll do our callback function right here and then within the parenthesis of that function I'm going to pass through E which is our event object. All right then so the first thing I'm going to do is find out the type of event that's occurred right so I'm going to log that to the console so we can see it down here when we do something so what I'll do is say console.log I'm going to pass through the event object and if I click dot now it's going to show me all the different properties methods or information that we have on this event right so the first thing I want to do is find out the type so I'm going to press type and then what I'll do is in fact pass a string through here as well I'll say the event type is then concatenate the two together all right the next thing I'm going to do is come down here and I'm going to stay, uh, say e dot stop propagation, and that's a method. And what that is going to do is stop this event bubbling up to other events. So, for uh, say for example, I clicked this element right here, yeah, this a tag. Now I'm clicking this, and it's going to tell me the type of that event on this a tag. And then if I don't do this, it's going to do the same thing for the li tag because essentially I'm also clicking the li tag. I'm also clicking the ul and the nav and the wrapper. So that event is bubbling up through the different elements. So I'm stopping that bubbling right there. So it's just going to tell me the type of the first event, yeah, of the first element. So let's save that, refresh over here, and I'll click a few things. So I'll click this, clients. The event type is click. I'll click over here. The event type is click, it just says a two there, okay? The next thing I want to do is in fact do it above this. I'm going to log to the console, console.log, the target element, right? So I'll say e.target, just like that. And I'll press save. If I refresh again, what this does, you'll see if I click, it brings back the target. That is the element that I've clicked, okay? Or rather, the element by which this event has fired on. So if I click over here, I'll bring back the block quote. If I click down here, I'll bring back the map, etc. So it's telling us two things, the target and the event type. What else have we got? Well, we can do the X coordinate. We'll say console.log X coordinate of the event is, and we'll concatenate E dot page x all right 
save that, refresh, and let's click something. And now we get 203 for the X coordinate. If I click over here, it goes to 978. Now, the X coordinate is the coordinate going from left to right. So the further I go to the right, the bigger it is. The further left, the smaller it is. Starts out at zero over here, that's two. But um, yeah, that's measured in pixels, all right? So we can also do the Y coordinate. I'll copy this and change this to Y and change this to Y as well and refresh. Now, if I click somewhere, the X coordinate is 751 and the Y coordinate is 867. Same again, right at the top is going to be zero, well, two, and then the further down you go, it's going to be larger, okay? So, the X and Y coordinates would be useful if you had some kind of interactive game or something and you want to know where the user's clicked, if they've clicked on certain, object on, uh, certain objects on a picture, for example, okay? Now, there's a few different other things we can find out from the event. I'm not going to go through them all now, but what I will do is leave you a link to the jQuery event page down below, which is going to show you all the different properties we can gather from the event. So you can go ahead and check that out in your own time. So if you have any questions about this whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and I'll see you in the next one.